What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back to y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, we finna turn Tom Brady into half Terminator, half himself. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, the first thing you want to do. You wanna drop the opacity down on your picture. Then you wanna lock that layer, create you a new layer. Select the color pink. That's what I like to do the sketch with, you know what I'm saying? Now we're gonna come up here, we're gonna set our pressure on our brush. You only get this option if you're using like a digital tablet, the pressure option, because I'm using one right now. Okay, just set my brush. Now we're gonna drop the opacity down on our brush to like 50. And now the first thing we're gonna do before we start doing the clean line work, we're gonna kind of map out where we gonna do the robot. So, we're gonna kinda go ahead and shape it out on this side. So basically, before you even start, working on clean clean lines you gotta go ahead and map out map out everything so you won't be messing up while you're doing it you already have a, a good idea where everything is supposed to go you gotta do this little chalk bone. What we're gonna do, we're gonna add another layer right on top of that one. So we're gonna lock that layer, add another layer right above it. Select the color black. And now this is what we're gonna come in. We're gonna clean up our lines and make some clean line work. And make sure you bring the opacity back up to 100.
Okay, now that we finally finished with the line work, what we're gonna do is start the coloring process. So what you wanna do, we're gonna highlight everything. Then we're gonna go to object, expand appearance. And then we're gonna click merge on our pathfinder. So we can make all our lines a group, one group. I want to shrink the shot. I, <laughs> I said shots. I want to shrink the size and fit it all on the canvas. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hold Shift and Alt at the same time, and I'm gonna pull the edge in so I can keep everything inside of this artboard. I'm gonna stretch it out. Okay. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna make a copy of our line work so you want to drag a copy to this blank sheet of paper lock the top copy select the second copy and let's go ahead and delete our pink layer since we don't need it anymore we can delete the uh the picture okay make sure you got your second copy of your line work selected find a good base tone for the skin Switch it up later. Go to your rectangle tool. And you want to drag that color over your line work. Now you want to right click the color, go to arrange, and send to back. Now you will know if you did that step right. If you look over here at your your uh, layers, and you will see your line work sitting right on top of the colors right here. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to select everything together and click merge so we can make it one with the color. Now we're going to click right click onto the color and go to isolate selected group. And now we can delete this out of color and what isolate selected group do every group that's isolated meaning every group that's closed off. It'll only let you select that color, you know what I'm saying? So we can go through and we can change things individually. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and find a nice base color for everything. Another thing we're gonna do too, we're gonna go ahead and do, we wanna click over here, click this drop down menu, and then we're gonna stroll to see our last black line work. And we're gonna lock all the layers. Okay. We're gonna lock all the black lines. So we're just gonna hold that and stroll up. Unlock the top two and then close it. So now we can go through and we can color all this in without and it won't select the black. The isolate select group. Now we can trying to get it where I can. Okay, cover a lot of this. change the color of it later see you can click on to the black and you ain't got to worry worry about it selecting it. you can just click on to the black so it can be like a starting point now we gonna get our where's our dropper tool color gray for right now so it'll be easier I'm holding shift I 
as I select these other areas I want to fill in. Okay, now that we got the base color down, what you want to do is you want to select everything. You want to come to edit, on to edit color, and you want to go to adjust color balance, go to preview. Now we're just going to tweak these colors just a little bit. Now it's time to add shading in. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna create us a new layer in between our line work and our base color. Now we finna do the shadows and that's gonna make the whole picture pop. So let's jump right in. Wait, 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 wait. Before we jump into it, I forgot to make this eye. I'm gonna open this layer. Now we're gonna add our shadows. 